lot of people ask me how you get these Ellen White books into your eSword. So I got my eSword open and you can see I've got uh, Desire of Ages, I've got Acts of the Apostles, Great Controversy, a couple of Ellen White books loaded up here that I've got installed on my eSword. Uh, basically, to use it is, is, is pretty simple because if you just go and choose, click on a verse, it'll pop up and it'll have these blue lights with the guy on the inside that'll show you Acts 16, Ellen White comments on Acts 16. Pretty easy to use. What I did is I did... produce a video and uh, in this video I explained a lot of stuff about eSword and how to use all these different tools that eSword has. You can look at how to use eSword and merge with Ellen White books. I just looked at this video and I found out I didn't really explain how to merge it in there. So hence another YouTube video to explain that. Uh, basically, it's pretty simple. There's there's a couple of uh, here's a website. If you go to esword.net, you can go to downloads. You can download the esword for your Android, for your Mac, for your iPad, for your iPhone, and uh, you can actually just download it for your laptop. And you can look at some of these tools that are on here. If you go to Sharpening the Sword, the website is actually S-T-E-E-N-B-E-R-G.us. I should have this link. Once I upload the video, I can add the link on there. What you do is you go down. There's, there's a download for Apple. There's a download for the PC programs. You just click on this bulk one, you can save it, it'll download. I already previously downloaded one, so I could just click on this one. Once it's done, you double click on it, it'll it'll open up. It'll the BBLX is the Bible, CMTX is commentaries, DCTX is dictionary, so it has all of these different modules and references in there that you can use. You just hit the next. You can tell it to download. It automatically will download in your Windows folder. But I'm not using a Windows program, so I gotta pick my own. And it, and it shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, you can just go into your your uh, uh, your C drive, which it only gives me the option of the C drive, and I'm gonna just use this E sort example to download it in. So I got this E sort. It's gonna download a folder called E sort. You just hit the next. You hit the install, and it only takes a couple seconds to install this thing. And once it's all finished, you can go in there and take a look at it. Here I've got the program files, your x86, your my eSort example. Here's here's the folder, and you can see it's got the uh, all of these Ellen White 1 through 9, Daniel and Revelations by Uriah Smith, Ellen White Councils on Health, uh, Ellen White Gospel Workers, uh, it's got spiritual gifts, it's got a, a whole collection of Ellen White books and, and all of them that you know more than you could possibly use. So what do you do so it it doesn't take forever to open up your eSword because it's got to locate and download and upload all of these things. And if you just wanted to use a few like Acts of the Apostles, Great Controversy, P 
Patriarchs and Prophets, uh, basically her five basic books. There's a thing up here called Options. So you go to Options on the top here for eSword, you hit your Resource Settings, and here's your list of Bibles. You can choose by clicking on here what Bibles you want to use and what Bibles you don't want to use. You just unclick them. Okay, it has all these commentaries. You may not want to have all these commentaries in here. So, uh, I don't know why I've got them all checked, but they are. You've got all these different dictionaries. Uh, basically, the only one I use is the uh, Treasury of, of uh, the TSK that I have up here. So, you can check them, you can uncheck them, do whatever you want. It's got a thing for devotions that's that's we just uploaded. It's got graphics, it's got maps and, and all kinds of pictures, NASA satellite images. And you can upload your own books. Uh, these are uh, Life and Times of Jesus the Messiah by, I forgot the name of the author, couple of books that I got that I wrote that I put in here just to see if I could do it. Now, uh, the thing about it is, is you got to make sure that this goes to your file that uh, you got your, your books and references and everything that you just uploaded. So you got to make sure this matches with, you can go into your file browser. This will give you the address. Mine is home wine drive C, but I just use an example. So it's not going to match. But the lesson being is this should match that. And if it doesn't, then you got to go in here and browse and look for where did I put that thing? Actually, I just put mine in documents that I could go into my eSword example and hit OK and it'll show everything that I just uploaded, but I don't want to do that. I just wanted to show you how you can get around to using this more effectively. So in review, you just go to this sharpening the sword, hit this steinberg.us, and you just hit the download for yours. There's basic file, bulk destination, but this one has more than you can ask for. Actually has a link to download the uh, uh, eSword now so you can you can use all of these tools there might be one more reference on here this is that same site it tells you how to the the stein bird us it tells you how to go in there how to click on it what it actually takes you through on the regular windows system because it's 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 a little bit different downloading to a windows system than mine and once you get them all loaded and all on there, you can basically reference anything on here and see what Ellen White wrote about it. Colossians, everything. So I hope that explains things. If it doesn't, just leave a comment and I'll see what I can do to, to make things uh more understandable and once again if you look at this other YouTube video on how to use eSword and Merge and Ellen White books you look at this video it'll it'll show you all kinds of little tips and tricks on how to use the dictionary the King James Plus uh, it runs you through on, on how to uh, save some of these modules in here and everything. 
So, need anything else? Just uh, scroll down, leave, add a comment, and we'll see what we can do to get you headed in the right direction.